Previously on Back to the Future. Why did you stop? Why did you stop? Stupid computer game. No, I love you really. And now. Only one more exhibitor before Emmett's due to go on. Come on, Emmett, where are you? Hmm. I need to find Emmett. Where would Doc take Emmett? Trying to convince Emmett that it is bad for him to. Oh man, I don't know where he's gone. Trixie, where did. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you ready for a here? picture radio? Wonder if that's anything like MTV. Nope. Hi, Trixie. Now what can I do you for? I don't think Edna's gonna be an obstacle anymore. So she was the speakeasy arsonist after all! Kid was right! I don't think so. Huh? What? Did it skip some of the dialogue? That is very annoying, you two. What time is Emmett supposed to go on? Let's see, eight kilobeats past fifty. <gasps> We're on metric time here at the Hill Valley Expo. Where's Emmett? You seen Emmett around? I'm kinda worried that he's not at his booth. Hmm, let me think. Uh, yeah, he wandered down that way a little while ago. He was talking real intense with Which another guy. Way? Older guy? Looked a lot like Emmett in the face? Yeah, uh, uncle or something? Or something. Ah, uh, thanks. Fine. He wandered down this way. Let's go down this way. Nope. Mm. <gasps> Wait. Diver. Mr. Duto? We? Oui. You seen Emmett Brown? I'm looking for a friend of mine, Emmett Brown. Tall young guy, reddish brown hair. A distracted look. That's him. Any idea where he went? He just passed by here with an older gentleman. I think they were added into the House of Glass. Great, thanks. The House of Glass. Oh, now he's hey, in there. Emmett, come out of there. Don't listen to him. <gasps> he's gonna lock him in. Hey. No! Go. Okay, Emmett, let's get you out of here. Emmett! Emmett, don't listen to him! He, he's crazy! I'm still not sure about this business proposal, Mr. Sagan. Let me explain it again. Atlas glass. Unbreakable and soundproof. Damn soundproof it. glass. Great. Our living space can be configured to meet the needs of any family. Need a private study? Simply slide the walls in. Or slide them out again to create a spacious banquet hall. So I need to find. Sorry, I just needed to have a drink of water, so I took my headphones off. So I need to find something. Emmett in the glass of house. Hmm. Handle. Oh. Um. Handle. Window. Emmett, 
Get out of this place and back to your booth. You're gonna miss the demo. Come on, Emmett, look up here. Ah. This way. Can I go this way? Ah. So what is this? Handle. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Handle. Handle. Oh no, this is a proper maze, isn't it? There we go. Okay, so how about this one? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How about this one? Damn it. Okay, so what is stopping that? That is being stopped by... This. So, close that. There they are. <gasps> no! Ah! Oh! Evil Dark. Oh man, this is so fucked up. Handle. I know what I've done wrong. I need to move. And this one. There we go. Handle. There we go. Right, now it should be able to open. This one. Go! Perfect. Hey, Doc. Oh. Damn it! Where did you take him now, Doc? Damn the it. next exhibitor <gasps> on our list is Officer Danny Parker of the Hill Valley Police Force. Shit! Officer Parker is going to demonstrate a few of the many marvelous tools that our boys in blue will soon have at their disposal. The criminal element has truly met his match today. Officer Parker? Uh, it seems our next exhibitor is unavoidably detained, but I'm sure his presentation would have been both enlightening and exciting. Um, how about a round of applause just for the heck of it? <sighs> Shit.
Why Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a tall, thin, older gentleman. He might have been with a tall, thin, younger gentleman. I know just who you're talking about. I just left about a minute ago. If you hurry, you might catch that. Take off your helmet. Take off your helmet. I prefer to leave it on. The inland air is difficult on my sinus hands. Hmm. Who are you? I know you're in there, Doc. Doc? <laughs> yes, I am a doctor of marine biology. But I fail to understand what you're... Quit fooling around, Doc. What have you done Stop! with them? Stop! Help! I'm being attacked! Harry! What are you doing? You can't assault the exhibitors! You don't understand. He's kidnapped Emmett. The boy is obviously a uh, confused I'll say he He's is. in the tank. You want I should toss him out on his ear? That won't be necessary. Do you know who that is? That's Jock Duteau of the Oceanic Institute. No, it's not. It's... Please keep it down. The expo went through a lot of trouble and expense to secure Professor Duteau. We can't afford to antagonize him. But if you've got a complaint against him, we can straighten it out after the show. But if you make another scene like that, I'm afraid I'm going to have you expelled from the hall. Well then, let me just take the ride. Professor Duteau, huh? At your service. Hmm. What have you done with the real Professor Duteau? I'm not sure I like your insinuations. I'm not sure I like you kidnapping Emmett. Perhaps I should call the authorities and have you removed from the hall. You're a cold-blooded guy, Duto. Say la vie. Where did you stash Emmett? In the diving bell? It's called a bathosphere. Aha! So Emmett is in the bathosphere. I don't know what you're talking about. Let me look in the bathosphere. I think I'm going to take a closer look at that bathosphere. Not without a ticket, I'm afraid, sir. Hey! Is this guy trying to bum a free ride? I've got tickets. No. See that you don't. I've got it's tickets. Good to be on the right side of the law. <laughs> I've got lots of tickets. Take a ride in a bathosphere. Your bathosphere. I'd like to see the inside of it. Can't get in without a ticket, I'm afraid. You're not going to get away with this, you know. As they say in my country, que sera, sera. Mm -hmm. um, I've got loads of tickets. Here's my ticket. I want to see inside that bathosphere. I don't think so. What do you mean? I've got a ticket. You have to honor my ticket. It's uh, uh, the, the wrong kind of ticket. Sorry. Oh, give me a break. You've got to take my ticket and let me into the bathosphere. It's the rules. If you've got the problem, go lodge a complaint. Hmm. No, I don't want to talk to you. You'll be rude. Hey, Artie. Hey, Artie. This ticket should get me into any exhibit on the floor, right? Sure. That's a pee ticket. Well, the guy at the aquarium is refusing to honor it. Hmm. There must be some mistake. Come on, let's straighten this out. Professor Duteau, this young man claims you refuse to take his ticket. Not at all. I'm only too happy to take his ticket. Please, climb the ladder, and I will raise the path as fair. What did you do with him? Mon Dieu! What is the matter? The gears, they must have become stuck. I am afraid I cannot raise the atmosphere at this moment. What a shame. Yes, it is, it is, it is. 
Well, I will work on the problem. Perhaps we should come back later. God fucking damn it. God damn it! Hey, folks, it's me, Techni, Muse of Progress, gracing you once again with my presence. And speaking of presents, what better gift could Hill Valley offer the world than this magnificent science and technology exhibit? Hey, folks? If you haven't done so already, I urge each and every one of you to take a peek at Furnishings of the Future, right here in our main hall. Tickets are available from me, Techni, at our information desk. Oh, God. Come down, please. The Bathosphere exhibit is currently closed for repairs. Are we? Um. Close. Step back! What does it matter if there's nobody in the bathosphere? It's very bad form. Oh, sorry. Uh um. it's an old nautical superstition. A crimp horns means people do. It does if there's somebody inside the bathosphere, but I thought you said there wasn't anybody in the bathosphere. There's not. I don't hey! Raise the bathosphere. I'm just gonna keep holding this air tube closed until you raise the bathosphere. I wish you wouldn't. Why not? There's nobody in the bathosphere, right? Emmett gets nowhere until you raise the bathosphere. Uh, Emmett? Who? Emmett, you! You ready to drop the act now, Jacques Duteau, aka Carl Sagan, aka. No! You ready to drop the act now, Jacques hmm. Duteau, aka Carl. No! You know what happens when the air runs out to both of you. Hmm. I demand you uncrimp that hose! I demand you let Emmett out of that bathosphere! I... I don't know... Wh what we are... talking about! Step... Can't you see he's messing with us? There's nothing wrong with those gears! Monsieur Duteau is doing his best to fix the exhibit! Hovering over him like that doesn't help the situation any. Uh, He's running out of air, Doc, and you're running out of time. Let him out. I won't. Hey! I'm just gonna keep holding this air tube closed until you raise the bathosphere. I wish you would. Why not? There's nobody in the bathosphere, right? You know what happens when the air runs out to both of you. Running out of air, Doc, and you're running out of time. Let him out. I want to it. Hmm. Do I just wait? So long, the years that they have become unstuck. There, see? It was just a malfunction after all. Let's get you out of there. Uh, Emmett Brown? Then it was true. Hey, you. Hey, he just took that guy's wallet. I think he took his wallet. <laughs> oh. Remind me not to become an oceanographer. I guess I must have a touch of claustrophobia. Never should have gone in there. Well, we've all got problems. Now, you'd better get back to your booth Funny before... Funny thing is, I don't even remember going in there. Last thing I recall, I was in the glass house talking to Carl Sagan. Did you know he's really a scientist? I'd heard. What did he say to you? Oh, he had some sort of spur-of-the-moment business proposition. It was all very rush-rush. I never got the details. 
It would have meant leaving before the expo was over, so I told him that... Say, where'd he go? Do you know? Carl Sagan? He had to leave. One of his experiments blew up on him. No, I know how that is. <laughs> Greetings and salutations to all our honored guests. I am Techni, Muse of Progress, and it is my pleasant task once again to highlight one of the great minds who was hard at work building a better tomorrow. I think that's me. I'm next on the roster. But are you ready? No, I don't have a choice. Did you bring the static accumulator? Oh, right. Here you go. Great. Come on, let's get up there. And who knows? One of this kid's gizmos just might take off and change the life of everybody in town. Could it be the very thing he's brought to share with us today? That ought to do it. Are the block bearings all in the raised position? Block bearings, block bearings. Raised position, check. Then it looks like all systems are go. Wish me luck. I don't have to. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Emmett Brown! Objection! Oh! Objection, Your Honor! I hereby demand that the scientific demonstration of one Emmett Lethra Brown be terminated and forfeit by reason of insanity! I declare him to be in contempt of me, his father! Where is he? Hand him over this instant! Ugh. Emmett, are you up there? Uh, hey, Judge. <clears throat> you don't think you can shelter him? You're making a scene. Come on, Mr. Uh, Judge, sir. You're kind of making a scene here. Wrong. I am stopping my son from making a scene here. Don't antagonize him. Well, if you're not going to say anything... So he is up there with you! Thanks a lot. Son, I order you to come down from there this second! Hmm... You know... Family issues are... A real problem. I'm lucky I get on with my dad. Come on, Emmett. Emmett! I'm not talking to him! There's no point! <sighs> He's got to give you. Maybe he'll give try. you a fair chance to explain yourself. He is a judge, after all. Yes, a judge who's already passed sentence. He won't listen to me. He never has. I'll be right back. You dare to disobey a direct order? Yep, pretty much. Hey, judge. I want to speak to my son. Emmett's not ready to talk to you uh, directly. I suppose you're his mouthpiece. I guess so, yeah. Okay. He says you won't listen? He says you won't listen. He says it's no use talking to you. Y you never listen? That only shows how pig-headed he is. Of course I listen. If he can justify his craziness, I'll be only too happy to indulge it. Stay right there. I'm not going anywhere. Huh. I can't take the fourth! I Fumph. try! Try! Fumph? Emmett. I'm not talking to him. There's no point. Bite the bullet. Just go deal with them. What have you got to lose? Well, that's what they said to Custer. What's your plan? So, what's your plan? I just stand here like this indefinitely. After a few centuries, the process of petrification will set in, and that'll be that. Okay, that is a plan. Um... You heard him. He said he'll listen to you. Well... At least give it a shot. Go on, Emmett. Go on. Father? Son? You've never understood the first thing about me. All you want to do is step on me, squelch my natural instincts! You don't know what it's like what? to be young. You, you don't know what it's like to have dreams. You have ambitions. So great. Powerful, but they've got a 
I should have smashed you. And it's all you can do to hang on for dear life while they fell apart where they must. This is America, Pop. And in America, a person doesn't have to do what his father did. Isn't that why you came to America? To live where there wouldn't be so many rules? Well, we talked. Hmm. Are you happy? Fine. Please, y you gotta get out of Emmett's way. I have yet to hear a compelling or even coherent reason why. Emmett's... not like other people. It's important to the future. He's Emmett's like just stubborn, willful, single-minded, incorrigible, and obsessed. Okay. But if you look at it from the right angle, those traits are kinda... good. That may be your angle, Sonny, but I'm not so sure it's the right one. Make no mistake, those are traits that lead to trouble. He gets them from his mother. Ooh... harsh. Yeah, it's important to Emmett, or important to the future. Let's go with... See, Your Honor, it's just that this demo is so important to Emmett. A childish kerfuffle. He'll forget all about it in two weeks' time. That's what I'm afraid of. Okay, then. Important to the future. Look, Your Honor, you don't see it, but there's an awful lot riding on Emmett's demonstration. All the more reason why I've got to put a stop to it. Look me in the eyes, young man. I expect you know my son pretty well by now. Do you seriously think his exhibition is going to be a success? Uh... Yes. Sure. Uh, sure it will. Ha! You know as well as I how it'll end. Disaster! Maybe, and maybe not, but even if it does, I mean, isn't Emmett entitled to make a few mistakes? Yes. Emmett has exceeded his quota for one lifetime. It's my job as his father to see to it there are no more mistakes. <sighs> you know... I get where you're coming from, man, because... You're just trying to help him, you know. You want the best for Emmett, but he's got to he's he, he's got to make his own choices. He can't live his life. You've had a life to live and you're living it, you know. You can't live two lives. Emmett's just trying to make a name for himself. Maybe things were different when you were a kid, but nowadays you you got to take chances. What do you know about taking chances? Try moving to a strange country where you don't speak the language. There's only two dollars to your name. You? You bet your socks, me. And I made out all right, too. How'd your dad feel about it at the time? Papa? He was fit to be tied. He called me a disobedient little... There we go. Your father didn't understand you either. So your father didn't approve of you coming to America? Well... Papa never really understood the younger generation. He came around a bit in the end, but by then it was too late to... Tell him I'll listen to him. I want to listen to him. If he wants to talk. Okay, Emmett, I think I got through to Emmett. him. Here to play Peacemaker again, Pollyanna? It might seem impossible, but it's not. His bark's worth it on his bike. He only lo- yeah, he does only yell because he loves you. Deep down, he's just worried about you hurting yourself. No amount of physical pain could equal the pain he's already inflicted to my spirit. Uh, the bark's worth the bite. Okay, so he's got a strong personality. Strong personality? Lord save us from strong fathers. Why couldn't I have been born to a nice, wimpy milk toast? Yeah, well, that's no picnic either. The important thing is, fathers can change. Says you. No, they... they really can. Impossible. I really think he means it this time. He won't listen to me. Ah, uh, like your mother. He says you get your stubbornness from your mother. Well, that's the limit! He's not satisfied with insulting me. He's got to drag my mother through the dirt, too. Mother isn't at all like me. She's gentle and sweet and endlessly patient. If anything, I'm more like... Oh, skip it. What did you just say? 
You were starting to say that you're like... Skip it. Can it be that you and your dad? No. Next subject. Damn it. Stop being a dope. You got your <laughs> pride. Okay, I, I get it. And so does he. But what's the harm in trying to make peace with the guy? He's your family, and family's important. Sometimes it's, well, even more important than we realize. That's true. That is really hey, true. Hey, come up. So, you think my new invention is a disaster waiting to happen? Yes, yes I do. And I'm here to say, if any son of mine is going to make of himself a public disaster, I insist on being there to support him. Hmm. Oh. You're gonna change your tune once you see this baby go airborne. You see, the force field generated by the static accumulator... Marty, give Trixie the signal. We're ready for liftoff. Okay. Oh, good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for bearing with us through that unavoidable delay. And now the Hill Valley Expo is pleased as punch to present Mr. Emmett Brown and his electrokinetic levitator. It's not gonna work, am it? <laughs> what? What? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Bash. Hey! Hey, stop! Get back here! Stop! Are you okay? <gasps> no! I thought I could change. Things could be different. No, she's gonna go. Oh. Get it back. Come on. We gotta find a way to stop her before. No, don't come any close. Go away. But... Move. Move. Buddy. <gasps> Duck. No. <sighs> no. Oh my god! Doc! Say something! Chromium, lithium, potassium, iridium, titanium, ruthenium. I'll get, I'll get help! Newspaper. What? You mean. I'm gonna get you to a hospital, Doc. You're gonna be okay. Yes. Oh. I think I am going to be okay, Marty. No, come on, Doc. Doc, don't do this. Don't go. No. Oh. Doc. Doc. Come back. Uh <sighs> Marty, have you been out here the whole time? Damn it. Um is it over already? Oh, it's over all right. You missed a very <laughs> wild party. I'm afraid I've been banned from the expo for the next 50 years. <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't go back in either. At least not until all the broken glass is swept up. Oops. Oh, what was I thinking? Naturally, the ionic wind generated by an electromagnet of that size is 
will play havoc with a merely mechanical steering mechanism. We need a much more advanced control system. I wonder if we could find a way to translate the body's own gravitational field into electrokinetic force, one might be able to direct the ionic current simply by shifting one's weight. Oh, great Scott, that's it! <sighs> Oh, man. What... What comes next? So, what comes next? Work, work, and more work. A few more stumbles, followed by a breakthrough or two. The way I see it, it's those little mistakes along the way that advance us along the pathway of knowledge. Come on, there's no time to lose. Let's get back to the lab and... God. I'm sorry, is something wrong? No, I can't. I can't tell you, Dirk. No, nothing's wrong. I'm. I'm fine. You don't sound fine. Don't worry about it. It's got nothing to do with you. What? You're a complete mystery to me, Marty. Where you come from? What you're doing here? But there's one thing I do know. Whatever it is, it does have something to do with me. Uh, please, Emmett, don't ask What's any- What's this? Come on, let me see. I deserve an explanation. Hmm. Yeah, I... I don't think it's a good idea. You wouldn't understand. Oh yeah? Try me. Uh... What's that? An explanation. Oh, Marty. But you've got to promise me. Don't look at it until you get the key to the city. Huh? Emmett! Just promise. Emmett, where are you, my son? I'll be right there, Pop. Key to the city? I don't understand. And you can't understand. Not for a long time. It would do irreparable damage to uh, something. Just, just say you <laughs> promise. Okay, I promise. Good luck, Doc. Good luck. Wait! I will see you again, right? Oh, yeah. I guarantee it. <laughs>